All right, today, just doing a David Bradley update. Uh, over the past couple weeks, uh, Dad and I have made these hitches, as you see here. One of them got painted and one we don't. Uh, we went off the picture off the internet of something we've seen because we were trying to figure out a way to hook up a David Bradley cart without hooking it to the back eye of the transmission because uh, it's a good way to break that part of the transmission off. And so we were trying to come up with a way to hook up our cart without damaging the tractor. So th the one that's painted is our first adaptation, our prototype you could say of what we came up with in the, just in the shop. We made this out of eighth inch steel. Uh, as you can see, this part here would go where the, the draw bar of the tractor would go. And then this C part would be your, where your wagon will hook up. This would be up on a transmission. And here in a little bit, I'll show you guys how this hooks up and how a cart hooks up to it. And then there, that pin there, will hook up just like your normal implements would, like your desk plow, etc. But this first one we made out of eighth inch steel, and we had to do some serious bracing on it because it was it was flexing too much. And uh, this this part here is quarter inch thick by two two inch, and that this whole part we bent, and that's at an eighth inch. We found that wasn't thick enough for a car hauling a load of gravel and whatnot. So this is our second model here, and we you can see a lot less uh, bracing going on. We haven't painted it yet, just finished it up, finished it up yesterday. But uh, this here, this saddle part is 3 16 and we cut the slots deeper so it would fit uh, a few different tractors because we found that the length uh, from the eye right there down to here is about an inch difference between some of our tractors so we cut these slots deeper and able to make it fit several different tractors but this is 3 16 steel 3 16 in the bend that's that's uh, four inches right there and then you got a half inch bolt gritty bolt that runs through there to hook up your wagon and then pretty much the same just a welded pin we got a pin with multiple eyelets there it's welded on there and right now I'm gonna pause the video and hook it up to the tractor with our wagon and give you guys a better look how this thing works. 